our good buddy R.D. Lang from this masterpiece, The Politics of Experience. Man, most fundamentally, is not engaged in the discovery of what is there, nor in production, in other words, not in involved in doing production, not even in communication, nor in invention. He is enabling being to emerge from non-being. Okay, Lang goes on. The experience of being the actual medium for a continual process of creation, this experience takes one past all depression or persecution or vain glory. As we said, we're not in it for the glory. We're here to glorify the source into the very mystery of that continual flip of non-being into being. Non-being and being the most fundamental process of creation. So yes, we're playing in a powerful sandbox here. It's fun. Surfer Joe's up on the 50-foot wave. It's exhilarating. Here can be great joy on this 50-foot wave. But it is as easy to be mangled mangled by the process as to swing with it, as to yield to it. If you're trying to resist that 50-foot wave, you're going to get mangled. Yes, it's exhilarating, witnessing the raw primal process of creation, the shaman discipline, exhilarating, wondrous to witness miracles. And it can be mangling. It's not a reason to turn back, not a reason to say, no, that's not for me. For some of us, that might be a reason to say, I I'm not sure that's for me. And you're right, it's not for everyone. As Lao Tzu referred to, there's just one in ten so sure of himself he can go through the jungle and know that he's immune to the claw of the tiger and the bite of the poisonous snake. For the nine out of ten, maybe we're not so sure that we're immune. It's not for you then. But as we said from the outset, this shaman discipline is for those who seek the extraordinary, the off the chart not just the little increments of progress. So because of this possibility of mangling, again, this is why the shaman needs discipline, needs a mastery, and what Lang calls swinging with the process, which he also calls enabling, being a witness, being a medium of creation. That's the same thing as Lao Tzu saying will is not the way at all, the way of the rock that resists, that is closed is not the way at all. The way of water, the way of pliancy, of yielding, of being open to that source energy and being a pure agent, a pure channel, that's the discipline.